So, creating impressive sceneries on worlds entails the use of different elements to bring the world to life, and crowd simulation are one of those, as crowd simulation continues to be the cornerstone for visual and scenery composition for both films, games, architectural visualization, engineering, and so on. And with the demand for a more efficient crowd simulation system picking daily, the folks at Relution have crafted a well thought out simulation tool for iClone 8.4, making it the most easy to use crowd tool that is built from the ground up for artists, allowing for more crowd related scenes to be built without artists relying so much on technicalities required to construct huge and creative scenes iClone 8.4 now boasts of an integrated crowd simulation engine which has undergone two years of research and development. In addition to this, iClone 8.4 update is totally free, giving everyone from previous version of iClone an opportunity to update and create crowds how they choose, and this is for both indie and large studios. And with iClone 8.4, crowd simulation can be done easily. And one of those ways is by simply using NavMesh. The NavMesh volume can be scaled to fit an entire environment or traversable area, and this automatically dictates the area for the crowds to work on, and also dynamically and effortlessly determine the passage and blockage with an intelligent prediction algorithm for elevations, doors, props, and so on. Meshes can also be set to either static, dynamic, impassable, or passable. All of these have been designed to allow for a smooth crowd simulation workflow. More so, barrier volumes can also be added to objects to restrict crowd characters. There is also avoidance volume which can be generated so characters can avoid specific pathways and the avoidance value properties can either be dialed up or dialed down. And in a situation where a crowd or a character needs to choose between two avoidance paths, it intelligently chooses the one with less value properties. There is also a global avoidance parameter that can be turned on and turned off. In the same vein, actors' individual radius parameter can also be dialed up and down and this would create for a more personalized space which would avoid characters' intersection or collision. Crowds can also be built by simply using a point-and-click mode which involves creating foot traffic with walkways for crowds. These footpath walkways can easily be adjusted as points can be moved around and the width of individual points can either be expanded or shrunken. These can be used in multiple ways, from simple pathways to elevations all the way to loops. And for intersections, multiple paths can be created and connections can be created which will allow for a varying flow of traffic. Additionally, these paths also have a weight parameter which can easily be adjusted according to how you want the crowd agents to behave. So if you're thinking about creating intersections for characters to move around, then you can easily create intersections for your crowd characters by using the point and click mode which allows for you to place walkways however you want. And something else which is also worth knowing is the crowd generation tool can also double as a scattering tool, which means you can use this to scatter objects within your scene. And with all these, artists now have multiple ways of generating crowds, as crowds can be spawned from crowd volumes, nav mesh, and also paths, with additional drag and drop actors always available when you need them. These actors can either be dragged in as individual actors or as a group, and these are called actor groups and actor groups which comprises of a group of characters which are likely to exist in every crowd brings a more unique look to the crowd system as multiple groups can exist with facial and full body animation with varying materials and matching props. And this feature alone brings more aestheticness to the character group which is pretty brilliant and this would save time when creating large scenes. And if you're a fan of Motion Director, you would love this new update, as iClone 8.4 brings with it an interesting addition to Motion Director. With the new update, multiple character animations can be plugged into the Motion Director panel and controlled by either using a game controller, a MIDI device, or a keyboard. And if you're feeling lucky and you would like to edit the Motion Direct animation, this is now possible, as animation clips can be placed within the timeline and edited therein. More so, with Motion Director, characters can be driven by multiple animation clips and these clips can be used to override various parts of the character's animation. So, if you would like to override certain parts of your character, you can now easily use the motion mixing, which makes mixing your character's animation super easy. So, at any point in time, a character artist can choose to override the hands, the legs, or the overall character animation that they want. Animators can now mix and blend motion clips, and this feature is open to all motion files and can be driven both within the timeline and with Motion Director. 
And if you're wondering if you can use your own custom characters to create crowd, yes you can, as this is a fully functional open system that allows for custom characters to be used in generating crowd simulations. So whether you like to direct your characters by simply using controllers, or you like them to be spawned or created however you want, the crowd simulation system just simply makes you creating crowd super easy. And speaking about more motion, the folks at Relution currently released an expansion pack, as this takes your crowd simulation to a whole new level. So. For those who are thinking about trying out this, probably you would like to explore it. There's going to be a link in the description that'll take you over to the page where you can check out all of these cool things and see amazing things that you can create. And of course, if you're thinking about creating characters yourself, then you can explore Character Creator as it's a one-stop shop for creating characters and using them for anything that you want. If you're looking for a free rigging tool, then AccuRig is right here for you, as this offers a one-stop solution to rigging your biped models easily. So this is it, iClone 8.4 now ships with one of the best crowd creator tools for artists and this is available for free via an update. And for anyone who would like to control their characters however they want or simply create crowds for the amazing scenes that you're building and you like to reduce the traveling time across multiple apps, then you might want to consider checking this out and exploring with it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.